Last night I heard another couple of chapters from the book called Lords and Ladies. Here's Madam. Maker had made it very clear that the elf should be surrounded in iron. Because if the elf is surrounded by iron, there isn't really a lot that the elf can do to escape. I honestly believe it's the best option. There isn't a lot of other options. You can't really tie down an elf unless you tie it down with iron. But the elf loses its power when it's around iron. Elves and iron don't really like each other, so if you have an iron sword, you could seriously hurt an elf. Elves and iron aren't good. Maker was the queen, but Granny Weatherwax had told them that they had to put iron around the elf. And if they didn't, the elf would manage to escape and go where it wasn't supposed to go. Granny knew that um, it was the best option so she had told the um, Sean Og. Sean Og did not really argue with Granny Weatherwax. Who would? If you did, you would really regret it for the rest of your life. Okay, so Granny was the the elf. The elf was in the dungeon surrounded by iron. Maigret wanted to go down and see the elf. Sean wasn't all that thrilled. Maigret still did it because she was the queen of Lanker, and there isn't usually a lot you can do to ignore a queen. She went down to see the elf and see how she was doing in the um, iron vested area. She was asleep, huddled up on the floor, curled up on the floor. I don't think she's able to do much, even if she does wake up. Okay, so there really isn't much else to say, so that's all for now.